Hello everybody, um, today I wanted to do something a little bit different, and if you look at the screen right now, I wanted to train an amiibo, but starting it off without learning enabled. Now, if I have this correct, right, with amiibos, um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the worst amiibo ever made, simply because it can't learn. Right. The Amiibo's advantage is that, one, it has inhuman reflexes, so it can literally throw out moves on frame one, like, inhumanly, and react inhumanly. That's the number one advantage of the Amiibo. But the second one is that it's able to learn strings and combos on the spot at inhuman, you know, at, with inhuman parables. That's, that's literally what the amiibo is built for other than that it's just an ai so i don't know today we're going to test out that theory i just wanted to see if this would work or not i don't think it will though another thing i want to test out is seeing like what kind of bad traits this amiibo will pick up like will it still go for stuff like jumping, double jumping early, or anything like that. You know, just the bad traits, because some amiibos, they'll just spam, or they'll jump way too much, like up here. And that's something that I wanted to study as well. But yeah, for now, we are just gonna beat its ass. But yeah, I'm curious if at level 50, like, the AI starts doing anything different, or if, you know, it kind of just does the same thing. The other thing we need to watch out is for, um, for is just how many getup options that they use. Like, right now, all they're doing is normal getup. That's all they have been doing. What would y'all rank Byleth as? I don't know what Byleth would be, to be honest. Like, Byleth is such a... Well, the thing about Byleth is that Byleth is very, very linear. Which is why most people just spam there. Because, like... It's kind of like the thing with Sephiroth, where it's like... You're only going in one direction, you know what I mean? You got horizontal mu movement, and then you got like perpendicular movement. It's like at that point, it gets like easy to easy to read. But also, Byleth just in general has like a lot of tools and options at their disposal. All their moves are quick and flashy. They all break shields. I don't know. Byleth is um a very interesting case. How did that not hit? Byleth has some weird hitboxes, bro. Like that, but my other ones didn't hit, okay. Ooh, I was cooking so hard there, bro. Yo, I actually just roasted Byleth alive, bro. You see how fast I got off the the stage, bro? I read that from a mile away. Dang, bro. We're cooking like that. We're cooking like that. All the homies are at the cookout. I 
not mean to do that. I did not know that um, Fail Not in the air actually shoots you back like Samus. It's crazy. I mean, not really, but. The double spot, the triple spot dodge? That's even crazier, bro. Triple spot dodge. New tech. I wish you could shoot Fail Not up in the air like the pits. That would be so fun. I can't tell if this is like boring or not because it's like it's literally just a CPU there's nothing crazy about it they're not doing anything crazy but also it's at level 24 so we got a whole 25 levels to to look at oh I just noticed with um oh with the Sophus or uh, Regalia art or whatever she actually doesn't have tights on look at that look at that no tights. Yeah, but uh, Byleth seems so like one dimensional to me. Like you have characters like, let me pull up like fun energetic characters that are unique but still trash. First of all, Isabel. Isabel's trash as hell. I, I honestly think Isabel is an F tier. Isabel, I honestly think Isabel is an F tier. But like even characters like, like shoot, Cloud is basically the same thing. Cloud is basically the same person as Byleth. If you really look at it, long ass sword, dis uh, disjointed hitboxes. The only difference is that he has a limit. He has DLC privilege, like more than Byleth. Byleth honestly could have um, joined Smash in the base roster. Hell, that would have been broken as hell. But like, I mean, Byleth realistically is like not that good I think I don't think Byleth is that good to be honest besides the shield damage god damn this shit is still crazy but has Byleth even gotten any nerfs or anything like I don't remember a single like pivotal like Byleth nerf like Byleth is kind of like I don't want to say the most mid-tier char character because we got characters like Bowser Jr. But like... Byleth just seems like... I don't know, Byleth literally just seems like the most one-dimensional character in the game. But that's how I just see it. Actually, I shouldn't say in the game. There's like other characters that are just booty. It's like there's nothing unique about the gameplay though, that's the thing. I mean, because like e even if you try to be unique and whatever, it's like, what are your options? Like you're telling me to pick a different option than Nair? One of the best Nairs in the game that like 20 people have? Would this character be more unique if they had like, I don't know, I don't know, like, what if they had a Nair like Robin or something? Like Robin has a very unique Nair, a very unique Nair.
We cook? Nope. Okay. We live to cook another day. But see, like, stuff like that, like, the down throw and the, the forward throw. Oh, the back throw, I guess? I don't think back throw is a thing. But all the throws seem, like, very similar. All of them just seem the same. They just throw in like different directions and they're easier to tell at higher percentage. That was definitely a misinput. I'm sorry, I'm bad. Ooh, I love, mm, one of my most favorite projectiles. This is on God, one of my favorite projectiles. I think another thing that attributes to a uh, Byleth being so like so like one dimensional with their kit is that like all of their moves have like the same amount of lag or whatever. Well, not like the same amount of lag, but like what the hell. I'm pretty sure if I should have headshot. Yo, I was aimed at their head, bro. Anyway, I'm pretty sure like a lot of their moves just have like the same amount of lag. So like every move just seems similar. Like if you throw out forward air and back air, like sure there's like a little bit more like frames and whatever, and I'm not much a frame expert or anything, but like definitely they just seem like very similar. Obviously they do different stuff. I would say back air is actually like 10 times better, but you know, that's with any character. But every move just seems like the same. Also, let's talk about one of my biggest, one of my biggest gripes about this character. Byleth is like a solo magic main in Fire Emblem Three Houses and they included nothing, nothing in the kit to introduce that into Smash. We have like nine, 10 Fire Emblem characters and only one of them includes magic. That shit got me, bro, I was going off on them for days. Like, yeah, it's cool that they can wield every single weapon, but like, do they need to, like realistically? I wanted another unique character. I thought that's where we we're getting. To be honest, they are a little bit unique. But like, they're like more unique than the others, you know? But it feels like, it, like, Byleth is what I would call like a 30 minutes character. Like you play it for 30 minutes and you're like, alright, I'm kind of bored. Or if you play against them for 30 minutes, I almost died. If you play against them for 30 minutes, you're like, alright, I'm bored. <laughs> like, realistically, when you play Byleth, like, how much are you actually doing? You're, if you play Byleth, like, you're playing to win, not to have fun, you know what I mean? Make you like, all right, I'm done playing Bowser Jr. Let me hop off. I'm done playing Little Mac. I'm done playing Ganondorf. I'm gonna hop off and play someone good. Um, as I die. Two missing plays. That's fine. But like realistically, like how much, like, do people honestly play Byleth and they're having fun? Whenever I see people play Byleth, it's like the same like four moves. It's Nair. Nair, Nair, up air, up air, up air. Because even Nair and up air do the same thing, just in different areas of your body. One's above, one is, uh, you know, if that felt clean, not gonna lie. Yeah, one's above, one's on your body. So, like, it's always like the same shit. You know what I mean? Alright, so now that they're doing a little bit better, I'm going to bring out some other characters. Um, I'm just going to, as I said, bring out Cloud. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring out Joker, just to show you all, like, what I meant exactly, like... Because, like, Joker has, like, a lot of options. That's what makes him so good, is that you can be on, like, you know, this plot over here, and, like, you can be anywhere else as, as well. Like, it's not even just, like, 
an issue with speed or whatever like so many options like everything flows together like this is what I expect out of a DLC character to be honest but not Byler and that's just how I feel but like Yo, she was kind. Of, she was trying to grab me for a sanctuary. I'm not gonna lie. Like Joker just has so many options. You see how fast like I got over that first plat? Didn't have to interact with it or anything. I just did what I needed to. The only offstage option that Violet has is either like back air or something, or a B. That's all, realistically. But Joker, he has everything in his toolkit. Everything, like, li you can use gun. Like, who else can re recover with neutral special? The only other person I can think of is Lucina and Marth, but, like, that shit is so predictable. I haven't even been cooking yet. You see this movement? Hey, hold up. Joker is so stylish. I'm glad I picked Joker up when I did. Because like, Joker, not only was the game like awesome, and he's just a cool entry in general, but like, he literally, like he, he changed my perspective on everything. And to be honest, Byleth did too, because this whole this whole time that I've been off YouTube, that six months and whatever, I'm always gonna say it, but like I, there's a certain slew of games. It was you're not doing anything very really well. There's a certain slew of games, a certain pocket of games that helped me out when I was off YouTube. It was three houses. God damn, three houses. I have a near automata as well. And then Oh my goodness, I really lost that stock. Three houses near automata and then Rainbow Six Siege. That's what I played. Anyway, I gotta turn this around somehow. Cause uh I'm getting my ass beat and I shouldn't be. I think I'm just talking too much to be honest. So I got my win condition. Ooh, oh, jeez. I was so close to dying. Sorry if I peeked at Mike there, I literally saw death in my eyes. I can't believe that shit does 8 damage. That's I mean, it's not insane, but like... I'm scared. I gotta stop doing that, bro. Yo, what? this watch this right watch this Ooh, okay hold up cooking I got my wind condition in no way bro but you can just nair like Hop off the Nair off stage. I didn't think about that. Ooh, I almost died. I almost died. I'm not gonna lie. The spacing was a little bit off for Byleth, but I nearly died. Ew, why was that so close though? I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't really feel it. 
don't know if it's just me, but like, there's something with the air in this room, bro. I don't feel it. I don't really feel it right now. Ain't no way I guess pineapple with Joker. He has like 30 movement options to come back to stage and I pineappled with Joker? What in the world? Any other individual would have died there. I'm not gonna lie. Any other character would have died there. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. We're cooking like that, I see. Is that a JB4 too? Or a JB3? I think that's a JB3. Okay, first JB3 goes to the Amnesiac. I hit them with uh, not one, not two, not three. But four. I, I gotta stop using counter, bro. I've been mean, using counter all day, bro. I'm getting old. My fans are leaving because I just spam counter. Alright, but Sephiroth has one of the coolest counters. If he was the only character at the counter in the game, I'd be fine, to be honest. Even if everyone still had a counter. If everyone had a counter, I'd be fine, too. I'd still use Sephiroth. Watch this. Yo, what did she do? Did she SD? Like she jumped in the blossom, like what in the world? What were you doing? She just didn't want me to have my clip, bro. I, I guess we switch off with Sephiroth because I, I won three games. I guess it's only fair. Loki, I haven't played Robin in a while, but like, I'm not really feeling Robin, like... Now, I'm not saying I'm not a, a Robin main, but like, I've been playing a lot of Isabel because, shoot, Isabel. Isabel was like, I wish Isabel was good, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I gotta recuperate. The other thing I like about Isabel is that she lasts so freaking long, bro. Like, god damn. You are living to, like, 170. Oh my goodness, why isn't your net longer? I was preparing that, bro. She also has three grab. Well, technically two, but... And a good ass recovery. Do it. Use fail now, you want to. Oh, I jumped. Dang it, my bad.
I hate that shit, bro. Bruh. Fishing rod is so inconsistent. That's the thing with Isbo is that she's just inconsistent all around. She's very inconsistent. Very inconsistent, very random. The double pot combo. I've never seen pots come out any faster than that. I'm gonna be honest though, she has one of my favorite forward smashes. Isabel? Isabel's forward smash is so aesthetically pleasing to hit. It also just it lasts a long time. She's like Link. That's a thing. She her shit lasts like forever, bro. I know people be getting annoyed by this shit, bro. Ooh, what the hell? I didn't grab that shit? What do you mean I didn't grab that shit? Is that how fail not seriously works? Like, I didn't grab that shit? <sighs> I saw it from a mile away, man. Hey, I'm picking Isabel again, though, because I kind of like Isabel. Isabel's kind of clean. Just, like, whatever you want, you know? Often, when I'm in a corner... I literally just stay. Did homie just teabag on me? Did homie just teabag on me? Did that just happen, guys? Homie just teabagged on me. I don't know how I feel about that. See ya again, I dare you. Teabagging ass war. <laughs> Alright, that was in comp four, but homie literally teabagged on me. What the fuck? No, no, no. I had. Oh. Alright, she beat me two times in a row. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. I honestly, I would. Mmm. You could kind of hear I panicked a little bit, but. Damn, bro. Isabel is like insanely hard to win with. That's what I will say. Isabel is like insanely hard to win with. Um. She just has so many counters. I gotta, I really have to get an uh, Isabeau Amiibo, but I'm looking for the right ones because uh, there's there's like three of them, and I'm not looking for the card ones. The card ones are goofy. There's like three of them, and they're all in like different outfits, but there's a particular outfit I want. Not to be quirky or anything, but like, that's how it is, you know? Alright, we out here with Robin. Haven't played Robin Robin in a minute, so Dude, I hate the Robins that are like literally just spam thunder too. So annoying bro. There's always like a camper for every playstyle. Or every character I should say, not playstyle. Dang, she dogs it. Hey, yo, what? I missed that.
Yo, I dropped the bag. I kind of fumbled the bag. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely fumbled the bag. I don't know how I fumbled it this, this bad, though. Because, like, I definitely had her. But she wasn't doing shit, and then... What the hell? How did I- Oh my goodness, I'm doing horrible today, guys. Like, jeez, today's an off day. Sorry for all y'all who went in that. Hmm. So yeah, that was uh, today's uh, am amiibo. I just got beaten out by an amnesiac. And uh, yeah, we are officially done with this video. I have shamed my whole family, have brought dishonor upon my country, and uh, I will... I'm an amnesiac too. This is all in a, a, a simulation. God damn. I seriously lost to that? Fuck. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace.